Hi! Today I'd like to take just a moment and show you the feature that a lot of people forget to use called miscellaneous checks. This is part of the bank reconciliation feature. So, bank rec is part of the financial series, so let's go to the financial series. Now, you'll see under financial transactions, there's this option called miscellaneous check. Now, this feature is used when you want to print a check for a one-time purchase. So you want to avoid um, setting up a vendor and dealing with everything in payables for just a one-time thing. Now, this does bypass payables altogether. So if you enter a check here and you later add them, this person or payee in as a vendor, this check will not show up there. It will be completely separate. So never use this feature for something you want to pay to a vendor. But it's a great place to use it for those one-time off-the-wall things. Let's do a check now and you'll get an example here. So I'm going to go in and I'll just choose First Bank. Now one thing that's important to note, you can only do a miscellaneous check on a bank account that is using your functional currency. So if you have a foreign bank account set up, you cannot process a one-time check there. So keep that in mind. And I'm going to tell it which check I want. Another thing to note here is this check format is not using the same format setup as payables. So if you've done some custom formatting on your check, then you definitely do not want to use this feature. Now, SafePay will pick this up. So if you write a check here, SafePay will acknowledge the check, but it will not use the same formatting that Payables uses. So you want to keep that in mind. So I'm going to come through, and let's say some Girl Scouts have come in and they're selling us cookies. And we're going to buy some for the office, so we'll just say $50 here. You can enter in the address. You notice this is completely WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. Uh, so it's very simple to use. Now, we have the Pay To line, and we also have a Memo line. Important thing to note, when you are looking at bank reconciliation, you will see the check was written to Girl Scouts. In General Ledger, what will appear on the reference line is whatever you have in the memo line. So I like to include both the vendor name, if you spell it right, and a little bit about the purchase. And this way, I'm getting more information in the general ledger. Now, I am restricted to the 30 characters, just like you would in any other general ledger reference. And then the coding down here, the general ledger looks just like a general ledger journal entry. The bank account's all chosen for you, and you can edit which account you want it to go to. At this point, you could simply print the check. I'm going to print it to the screen. And you can see my check. Very good. And uh, we'll... Um, I've posted it now automatically as well. Now my general ledger is not set up to post through, so I should be able to see it as an unposted transaction. And here it is. So you can see the entry, you can see the reference as Girl Scout cookies, and if we click on the expansion, you can see the distribution reference shows me that it came from bank transaction entry. Now a good thing to note as well, if you want to record one of these one-time checks, but you do not need to print the check, you could still use this same feature. Let's do another check. This time, let's um, let's let's be fair. Let's let's do a donation to the Boy Scouts. Okay, so we've done a donation. We can skip the print check and go straight to post. It will warn us that the check hasn't been printed, and are we sure we want to continue? So now we have done that as well. Another option for recording a check under bank transaction, you can go straight to check and pull up here and enter the check information here. And again, it would be uh, pretty much the same. This time, let's call to Eagle Scouts. And if we've handwritten a check, this is a great way to record that handwritten check as well. Oops. Record it to miscellaneous expense where we record all the other ones. And that records the check as well. All of these features will update safe pay or positive pay if you're using that. They'll all record the check in the bank reconciliation module so you can reconcile your bank account. And the general ledger will be updated. So whenever you have a check you need to write, you need if it does not need to be set up as a vendor. If it's a really weird one-time thing, then 
use the miscellaneous check. It can save you some time. Hope this helps.